agents that come to us and they think that they're going to get immediate results after one month. And it's just not going to be that way. I, I will just be totally upfront with you. If you don't have the budget to spend on this for six to 12 months, you may want to not do it because it's going to take you that amount of time to get the results you want. Also to remain consistent with the areas that you're looking um, to farm. You know, just listed, just sold is great if you want to target those neighborhoods. But, you know, think about what area you really want to do more business in or be known as the neighborhood realtor. You know, it may be the area that you live in. It may be just an area that you've done a lot of business in. Because the management and transparency is what's very important. So once you submit a referral, you're going to have your own home advantage account and it's going to tell you where everything sits. So if you have 10 referrals that you've sent into the network, it's going to give you all 10 referrals. It's going to tell you every milestone that that client is sitting in, whether they're touring homes, whether they're in escrow. And you now can manage through the home advantage application as far as what your pipeline looks like for the referrals that you've sent. And so it's pretty sophisticated uh, and it's, it's all click of a button, guys. We are live. So welcome. Looks like uh, everybody's joining. Sorry, we got a, a little late start here, but uh, that won't mean we short you out of any good stuff. So I am excited today to welcome a good friend and colleague, Chelsea Vanderhaar here. So we did, a, we did a webinar about a week ago. It was uh, February 6th, I think, with a realtor out of Chicago. Her name is Janine Sasso, and she was sharing her strategy for doing how she did over 55,000 print jobs last year. Uh, and she just farms neighborhoods and literally just crushes her business as a result of farming. And okay. so... The irony that we're bringing Chelsea on today is absolutely impeccable. So Chelsea is, uh, Chelsea, you are the uh, Senior Vice President of Marketing at USA. Yes. Is that your title? What is your technical title? That is my technical title. You got it right. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And so let's start with a little introduction. You run the marketing department that many of you have heard me talk about, which is very unique. Uh, I've not really seen anything like it in the industry in the mortgage side, uh, whereas it was built and designed to bring value to real estate agents, almost to be like a a uh, working conjunction, be a partner with real estate partners and help them with all things marketing. So why don't you tell us right. a little bit about kind of where where this was conceived from and let's get specific about what what we can do. Yeah, sure. So um, really, our marketing team was kind of um, built to help support agents. Agents are our bread and butter. Um, I believe 80 to 90 percent of the marketing that we do has a real estate agent on it. And really, we wanted to support agents because we kept noticing a lot of them were struggling with what to do. They knew that they should be doing something they knew that they should be sending out, you know, certain amount of mailers every month. You know, they're just listed or just sold, but they didn't have a good vendor for it. It was too expensive or unreliable, or they still had to do a lot of the manual um, work behind it. And, you know, when times get hard or you're busy, that's like the first thing you put on the back burner. So we figured, why don't we be that resource um, for agents? And so they know that no matter what the market's doing, what they've going, got going on in their business, they've got us to help. So um, so right now we print, uh, let's see, our 2022 numbers, uh, right under 6 million. Uh, we printed here um, in our corporate office here in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, so we have our own print production room where we do all um, commercial printing, industrial cutting, all of that good stuff. Um, so like I said, right under 6 million and about 4 million of that was in every door direct mailers or EDDMs for short. So that's our, our specialty, which is farming marketing. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting, first of all, and, and I'm going to take a step back just once again. So for those of you that are just joining us, Chelsea uh, runs the marketing department for USA Mortgage. USA Mortgage is a partner with LCA. Part of the reason why this came to fruition with USA Mortgage is because Tristan, 
you all know Tristan, has been utilizing and partnering with a loan officer with USA Mortgage and using the marketing department. Gosh, going back to 2000 and, and I think it was the beginning of 19 yep. when we did an LCA1 event, he came and visited the corporate office and was like, holy crap, I've never seen anything like it. And, and to put it into context, the way I describe it is it's almost like a ad agency met Kinko's and they merged together. And that just so happens to be, you know, an ancillary piece of, you know, a real estate agent's business, which is a mortgage company. So, you know, when you say that you, this, this was kind of, this was conceived out of the need that agents had, like, how did it get to this point where we're, we're talking about literal, like an ad agency damn near with, with the Kinko's. And, and, and I, I say it that way to give it the context. So people understand this isn't just, your mom and pop printers here. This is like serious commercial stuff here. Yes. Um, yeah, about as big as a car, large SUV. We got two of them. Um, so yeah, I mean, it really just came for, you know, before we kind of went into this, we looked into outsourcing a lot of our printing and it just wasn't for us. We really liked the idea of bringing the printing in here in house so that we could have control over the value, the production of it, you know, relying on some other company to handle it for us was just not what we felt comfortable doing. You know, kind of like you said with Tristan, a lot of the agents that we've worked with, we've worked for for years. So they expect the same quality that they've been getting for the last four years. Or if they have some kind of problem, they expect to be able to call me or somebody on my team and talk about that problem and it get fixed. So we just decided, you know, the outsourcing thing wasn't for us. Let's bring it all here in house so we can have control over that whole process. Um, and it really just kind of spiraled from there. You know, the, um, the every door direct mail really spiraled because we had a lot of agents um, wanting to do bulk mail. And bulk mail is great, but if you've ever done it before, it is a much more um, timely process. You know, you have to drop off at a specific business post office. There's a lot more that goes into it. Um, every door direct mail was like a really awesome balance between sending out an expensive postcard and doing um, bulk mail, business mail. So we decided let's have that be our specialty and let's offer that out. And now, um, it's about 65 to 70% of what we do is every door direct mail. And as the years have gone on, we just um, get even more and more familiar with it, offer different EDDM products. So that's everything from EDDM books to, you know, our different larger mailers, you know, sending out tens of thousands at a time. Um, and it's just kind of grown from there. So you mentioned books, like we're not just talking about postcards here. So you're saying that this is far more than just a flyer, a social graphic. It is, I mean, you could do door hangers, you can do postcards of any size, you can do literal booklets uh, to kind of describe the, the the range of products that can be printed. And then also that just the, the quality of the paper that it's being put on. We're not just talking about standard eight and a half by 11 here, uh, flimsy paper, we're talking glossy like nice stuff yes yeah so we um and the nice thing about us is so we offer a stock to everybody where that is standard you don't like get some really you know crappy piece of paper as your baseline everything baseline is really high quality and we're actually in the middle of rolling out a luxury line as well for our people that want to take a step up um and do like a thicker paper more of a matte feel um, so really we print everything, um, from your standard open house property listing flyers, all the way to listing brochures, listing books, pretty much any kind of book you can think of. So, I mean, that's everything from, um, you know, like seminar books, if you're going to do like a first time home buyer class and you want to do a book for that, uh, listing presentations or buyer's packets, um, door hangers, uh, postcards, trifolds, letters, EDDMs, like I mentioned, which are our farming pieces, all the way to your more like unique items like um, wine bottle labels, water bottle labels. Um, our big thing right now is coloring books. Those have exploded. Mm -hmm. um, we print custom coloring books and bookmarks. So um, that's our 
most recent one that uh, has come up. And a lot of those ideas, um, some of those, you know, like the coloring books, the bookmarks, those actually came from agents themselves. So a lot of agents, after they work with us for a while, they're like, hey, I've always wanted to do X, Y, Z. Do you think you could help me with something like that? Like the bookmarks came from an agent that has worked with us for a long time. And she has a like a BNI book club kind of thing. And she asked if we would do bookmarks for it. So we said, well, let's test it on our printer and we'll see. And it ended up working and it kind of spiraled from there. So same with coloring books, somebody wanted to have them um, at a closing for, you know, their clients' kids there. And now we do them for schools. We do them for libraries, kind of you name it. Yeah, I go into my daughter's uh, scattered school and I see coloring books of a, a fellow <laughs> USA Mortgage uh, employee whose coloring books are just littered throughout the school. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a great idea. There was a question in, in the comments about showing examples. I don't know if you have anything handy to kind of show. Um, I actually have a couple of booklets sitting on my desk here. This this is from this is an example of something from an event, which, as you can see, is very much it's Tristan and I actually. And what we they had them do was they just created uh, basically what, what was going to be talked about at the event notes pages, and then it goes back into the backside, which is where there is where you would be marketed basically. In this case, it was just a loan officer who was hosting this event, uh, but that's an example of a booklet. Um, I've got another event booklet here as well. I don't know if you have anything uh, handy, but it's it. This is a gosh. There's a ton of pages in this book. Uh, same concept basically, and I've I've seen LOs and agents do a lot of like taking these into a builder and providing a builder pack for a builder yeah. to have. You know, that displays all of their homes. Yeah, show me what you got. Yeah, so these are examples of door hangers. Um, so these are ones that are in our USA brand, but we do, because these are just samples, but um, we also do complete custom design for print marketing. We do it in whatever the agent's brand is as well. So, I mean, the agent can either say, hey, I don't know anything about design or marketing. I just like want you to do it and make it look nice all the way to, hey, these are my brand guidelines for my brokerage. I need you to design it exactly the way I want and everywhere in between. Um, so these are examples of door hangers that we do. Um, something that I'll mention about these, because a lot of people are like, I'm not going around hanging door hangers, you know, so, but they think that they're going to like go hang up a thousand or something. Um, you don't have to do that. So we actually have a very low minimum that re we require somebody to order. It's only five. So we have a lot of agents that they just order door hangers for like the, the 10 houses around the open house property so that they can show the neighbors, like, look at the marketing that I'm doing for your neighbor down the street. Um, so you don't have to go and walk to a thousand houses. You can just walk to a couple if you want. Um, so this is what Jeff was kind of talking about. These are our listing magazines. So this is an eight page, um, really great for luxury listings. Um, a lot of our stuff also um, has like, we can put like rates and payment information on the back. Um, I know they aren't that great right now, but like if you want to show what they would pay for different down payments, all of that, we can do that. So this is an eight page magazine that we do. Um, this is one of our like four page brochures that we do for a property. Um, we do a lot of kind of generic ones like this where it can just sit in the property the whole time. It's not rate specific. Um, and then these are different um, EDDMs that we do. So this is about uh, divorcing your landlord if you're tired of renting. Um, and a lot of our marketing is agent on one side, uh, loan officer content on the other side. Um, different kind of um, ways to get people's attention. So this one is super popular that this market is bananas. Get a ton of good feedback off of this one just because it catches your eye in the mail. Um, this is one of our larger EDDMs. It's literally the size of my head. It's a whole piece of paper. Um, it's actually the same cost as this, believe it or not. Um, so you can choose kind of what size you prefer even though we do typically recommend going with this size because it'll fit even in an apartment mailbox. Um, but this is about um, tips for preparing your home to sell. Uh, and this is an example of like the different books that we have. So totally customizable. Um, a lot of agents will send us a PowerPoint that they've done um, and we'll turn it into a book. You know, we make a, a listing presentation, a buyer's packet, um, anything like that. 
agent video program. Let's talk about that another time. Yes, uh, yeah. That's another another thing as well. So, yes. uh, but for the sake of time, I want to stay specifically on 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 topic here, which is which is the mailers. So, right. you mentioned cost and i know everybody's going to have that question okay wow this is really cool this is really nice stuff uh first of all i guess before you answer the cost piece the there is the caveat like this is not a a marketing company it's a mortgage company and and let me let me preface that let me backtrack just for a second and and tell all of this audience that that, that these are not designed to necessarily be an advertisement as much as it is this is an expectation that you should have with your partners and so we as a mortgage company that's kind of how we look at ourselves and frankly uh, just my opinion to any real estate agent and I and I teach this and I fly around the country and talk about this stuff but as an agent you should have that expectation that your mortgage your mortgage loan officer, the people you work with, the company you work with should be a partner. Uh, the expectation of getting a mortgage done is our job, right? That's not value. This kind of stuff is the value add. And really part of what we're doing today is just educating you on what is out there. Now, does that mean any one of you listening to this could work with a, with a USA mortgage loan officer and get this resource 100% if you don't have it from another uh but but take this and use this as something that you should realize that you could and arguably should have in your business now with that said the caveat with working with USA marketing first of all let's start with the cost so tell tell the audience like what it costs to get those various examples uh, for the agent cost, because this is all split cost, all RESPA yeah. compliant, correct? Uh, based yeah. on percentage of how much you're taking up on the on the piece. Right. Uh, and let me also say, Chelsea, you, I don't think you mentioned this, but at all of this, when she says custom, she means custom. So like if Jane Doe calls us up and says, hey, I work for XYZ Brokerage and I have pink and purple as my brokerage colors, can you make this piece pink and purple to match my brand? The answer is yes, completely custom. Uh, so talk about the cost for an agent based on some of the stuff you showed. Yeah. So, um, so if you want to do a custom design of any of our print materials, it is uh, agents pay on average about $20 per custom graphic design. So that's on top of the print that you're doing. Um, if you order a template, something we've already created before, there's no custom design added, but there's a $20 fee added if you want to do a custom graphic design for that print item. Um, for some of our $20 other $20 items, one time fee right. for that piece. Right. $20 one time fee. Um, we don't charge an extra fee unless you're like drastically changing the design later down the road. But yep, once you pay that fee, um, it's that custom design. If we have to make tweaks to it, you know, that includes different revisions that we need to do. Um, and as far as our different print marketing goes, so for every door direct mail, um, agents pay anywhere from 28 to 32, 33 cents a piece, just depending on the cost split. And when I say that's your cost, that's all in. So that's your postage, that's the piece of paper that you're ordering, the ink that goes on it, and that's our labor to put them together for you. Um, Cause that's also what we do is we assemble all of the EDDMs for you so that when you receive that box of them, they're ready to go. You're not having to assemble them yourself. And, and so. clarify an EDDM, every door direct mail is where you take a bulk and they would then just go drop it off the post office. The post office just delivers them to all of the addresses in that. Area. Right. Yeah. It's, it's where you pick a postal route and it sends to every person on that postal route. You don't need an address on it. You don't have to buy a subdivision list. Um, that's why we, we really love EDDMs because you don't have to go through all of those hoops to get a more affordable postage rate on it. Um, so we take care of all of that. Uh, there's a labor fee that, like I said, goes into that price that I mentioned. And by the time it arrives to you, you just have to drop it off at the post office and uh, it goes out to that route in the next few days. Awesome. Uh, Francis, the, the answer to Canada is is correct. There is, we do not have any, this more, this mortgage company does not have any offices in Canada. Um, so I don't think, yes, I think the answer is no, not currently. That doesn't mean that that couldn't happen at some point down the road, but it's basically where you would be working alongside with the loan officer ultimately, uh, which is 49 out of 50 States, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Um, so, so yeah, so I, that, sorry to not answer your question sooner. 
Uh, so you give me that range again. Uh, you said it was 28 to how many cents per uh, about piece? 32 cents for ADDMs. Okay. Um, and that's, is that the total cost or is that the split cost? Split. So 20, so let's just say 30 cents, uh, 30 cents. So just to put that into context, what is the average number that an EDDM consists of? How many houses? So you have to send to at least 200 houses okay. if you're going to do EDMs. That's a USPS rule. Um, but it really just kind of depends on where you are in the country. Like if you're in a more rural area, your route may only have 75 addresses in it. Um, or like, you know, I can testify here in the St. Louis area. Typically, most routes have between like 400 and 600. Um, I would say most agents on average send to about a thousand uh, when they're doing EDDMs with us. Um, and then you can do up to 5,000 per day. Um, so, but we have plenty of agents that do more than that. We just like, you can only send them out, you know, every few days after that. So we've done, we've done batches of 20,000 before. So um, it really just depends on your budget and what area uh, you want to target. Got it. So you can do the math on that. Like what, what, if you sent out 300 pieces times 30 cents, what that's going to cost you. Right. Um, there's no upcharge cost in there. Now, what about a custom piece? So let's just say somebody says, okay, I want, I want to do those booklets for a listing. So I just need 30 of them that I want to bring to the listing, leave in the listing, leave them for an open house. What does something like that cost? So our listing books, so our, our four page brochures, they cost agents um, about 22 cents a piece. And our eight page books cost agents right about 50 cents a piece. Wow. So we're talking, they're going to spend dollars for professional, I mean, professional material, basically. That's, that's incredible. Um, what about, what about like a door hanger? Door hanger is about 10 cents. That's piece. crazy. Uh, and the postcards range from... Postcards, uh, agents normally pay about 55 to 60 cents. Obviously, that's because that postage is more expensive. And that's for a first class mail. So we've also, um, I mean, we've mailed books like this before, first class mail. Those they end up paying close to like a dollar, dollar twenty-five, just because that postage is obviously a lot more expensive. But that's but that's let, let me just make sure that everybody understands what you're saying here. That is creation, that is printing, that is stamping that is postaging addressing and that is mailing uh, right. it's everything everything's included for anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar a p that's insane correct yes and so and um you know something that i love to point out to agents with our print marketing is that you don't have to just use it for you know your current listings or your current clients like uh use it to get new clients or show like, so we have a lot of agents that will use this. Like they'll, every time they order something for us, they order five extra and they keep them on hand so that when they go to that next listing appointment, they can be like, Hey, this is how I market your house. When you sell with me, I do these books. I do this mailer, this door hanger, and they use it as a part. Like not only do they have their listing book that we make for them that goes over their difference when listing with them, but they also have you know, these kind of samples of our materials to show their sellers what they're doing, because, you know, that's going to be a big differentiator for you. If you can literally go to that listing appointment with a seller and show them, hey, I already have your marketing pretty much set up and ready to go. I just need to hit order. And here's how I'm going to market your house. Which brings up a good point. So the every agent that works that that works within that this system, this ecosystem, and works alongside a loan officer, they have their own access to a back end marketing portal as well. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So not only so um, they get set up with uh, access to order materials through us. You know, they pay by credit card in there. We don't have any access to their account. That's all private from them. Um, but also when they work with my team. Um, they work with somebody on the back end on every single order that we do. Um, so they work with the same person consistently. So, um, and that's really great because, you know, you don't want to go to a different person every single time and explain 
what you like and what you don't like and where you work and blah, blah, blah. So we put you with the same person every single time so that you guys can get to know each other. We find that works better for all of you. So yeah, you get access to our online ordering system and then you have a person on my team on the back end that works on all of your orders for you, making sure you know your proofs are correct, talking to your graphic designer that's working on your piece. Uh, you know, they're kind of holding your hand through the whole process. Yeah, that's that's really really uh, really awesome. What what am I missing? I feel like there's is there anything that I'm missing here that that I have not asked you a question about? Um, I'm not sure if it's what you've asked a question about. I guess I would just say, um, you know, giving advice to agents that are looking to you know do some of this marketing, this print marketing. Um, is to really kind of be strategic about it, particularly when doing mail, marketing through the mail. Um, we have a lot of agents that come to us and they think that they're going to get immediate results after one month. And it's just not going to be that way. I, I will just be totally upfront with you. If you don't have the budget to spend on this for six to 12 months, you may want to not do it because yeah. it's going to take you that amount of time to get the results you want. Also to remain consistent with the areas that you're looking um, to farm, you know, just listed, just sold is great if you want to target those neighborhoods. But, you know, think about what area you really want to do more business in or be known as the neighborhood realtor. You know, it may be the area that you live in. It may be just an area that you've done a lot of business in um, and remain consistent in it, you know continue like, Hey, I'm going to have my 2023 plan and I'm going to do it every single month for, for this area for the rest of 2023. And my team will help with that too. We do strategy meetings for agents that we work with. Um, you know, we'll meet with them and be like, what kind of business are you looking to get? Like, are you looking to target specific kinds of clients? You know, where are you looking? And so we'll help you with that strategy. So I would just make sure um, I think that's where a lot of people fail with this uh, mail marketing is that they expect results in a month and it's just not going to be that way. You know, you need to re remain consistent with it and then you're really going to see the results that you want, but yeah. it's going to take a little time. Just like everything. doesn't matter if you're, if you're committing to a lead platform, if you're committing to a social media, it doesn't matter what you're committing to. There's no such thing as get rich quick. It, it does take time. That's, that's absolutely true. Uh, I did. The last thing I want to ask you was uh, I noticed something recently called the journey. And, and, and so can you explain what that is? Like, so when an agent partners up with a loan officer, they go through this journey, which is almost like, but like onboarding into yeah. our, into our marketing world. Can you explain that to, uh, to the audience? Yeah, so we, as soon as like an agent connects with one of our loan officers, we put you on an email journey where we educate you about everything that we offer. So that's, you know, everything from the print marketing that we talked to today to, um, you know, all of our, you know, video services that we offer for agents, our graphic design services, um, co-branded social media, all that stuff. Uh, and we educate you about every single piece of it so that you know everything that we do. Because we typically advise people to pick what, you know, appeals to you most and start there and then kind of build up from there. Um, you know, it can be overwhelming. If you just want to start marketing everything right away, you're probably going to get overwhelmed and not stay consistent with mm -hmm. it. So we're going to put you on that journey to inform you of everything that we can do to help grow your business. And um, not only how we can help you, but how you can help yourself. So we give you a, you know, a calendar of what we recommend that you do on social media, on video, on print, everything. We, we give you all kinds of tools and resources and it's up to you to decide what fits your business most. Love it. It's it's a unique take, and and um, it's one of one of one of the biggest reasons uh, why our region is is with USA Mortgage is because of it. it's just a different mindset. It's obviously all of this is super valuable, but it's just the outside the box thinking, and that's uh, I mean I love it. I I think it's a uh, it's 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 a huge value. And like I said to any agent who's out there that says, "Man, I really love my loan officer," and they're with XYZ Company, cool. Now you've got a bar to set. Now you can say, "Hey, go watch this," and you need to do. You need to be like this. Um, and if they can't do it, well, then then there's a conversation that that you might want to have. 
Uh, but this is all a part of uh, what we think is is the bigger picture with uh, with our real estate partners, which is our goal is to help you grow your business. Uh, the, the again, the byproduct, uh, which is which is referred mortgages, like that's that's what we're supposed to do. Um, but helping you grow your business, obviously, is is a completely different conversation and one that we encourage and, and welcome. And we want to have those uh, and, and help our agents grow their business. Chelsea, this is this is great. There's obviously even more to talk about. I think you're going to be a regular here in Lab Code Agents. Um, I, I love that. So, I can talk in less than 30 minutes. So I would love to come back. <laughs> perfect. Well, we're going to do it. We're definitely going to do it. If anybody's interested in just learning more, uh, just comment in the comments on the post, shoot me a DM. Uh, I'm not going to want, be the one that gives you all the answers, but I'm going to connect you with the right people that have the right answers. And more specifically, Specifically, if you're in a specific market, I'm going to connect you to someone who's local to you uh, because you've got to be able to ring their necks when you need to. And it needs to be local. In my opinion, that does not always the case, but uh, happy to have conversations with anyone and everyone about this uh, and maybe take it one step further. Chelsea, thank you so much. I look forward for to the next, the next one we do. And thank you so much for being on today. Thank you, guys. It was great to be here. <laughs> awesome. Take care. Place. Love it. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Thank you.